Max, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. It must have been a, an eventful 24 hours for you. Yeah, massively. Um, but I have to say, you know, the way I've been welcomed in at the club, um, you know, as soon as I heard that, you know, a club like this, Bournemouth was, was interested, um, you know, it wasn't really a decision for me. It, it, it's been a, a crazy 24 hours, and, um, but I'm just delighted to be here and, and ready to get going now. Now, it's the first time you've been transferred from one club to another. How have you found the whole experience? Yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been tough and it's been, um, you know, a lot of, um, you know, waiting around. And then, you know, but as soon as, like I said, as soon as Bournemouth were, you know, they made it clear that um, they were interested in, in signing me. It was, you know, straight here and how quickly can we get here? I don't think we've ever seen so many family and friends turning up for a photo shoot. Just there's a lot of excitement, obviously, in the whole family about this move. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, with it, you know, with the, how the last 24 hours have been and um, how everything's how everything's kind of been. Um, I've had family dotted around the, the you know, up and down the, the country, really, that have that have been, you know, really, really excited for me to to, to make this step. And, and, you know, to a club like Bournemouth, you know, it's a massive thing for me, me and my family. So, you know, everyone's everyone around me is absolutely delighted as as am I. Getting back to the Premier League must have been a big factor in your decision. Massively. Um, I think you look at the progression of, of this football club, you look at the, the way it's going, um, and that's, you know, not even talking about how, you know, from the outside I was looking in at the manager here and, and, and the players here, um, the club as a whole. It's, it's so attractive and, um, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, as soon as, soon as I heard, I'm so, so, so excited. And, how quickly could we get down here? You've got a fantastic CV. You're still only 23. You've got two championship titles on that CV, 70 games in the in the Premier League as well. So you know all about the division and you know the challenges that it's going to hold. Definitely. Um, obviously, um, you know, playing in the Premier League before and you know, 70 70 games now um, in the Premier League. You know, I know exactly the level and and uh, what, what we'll be facing. Um, it's, you know, I think I yeah, just spoken to the manager then and, and that was a big thing um, that, that I've played here before. Um, and, and, and yeah, I'm, you know, ready to get going and, and, and ready. Now you did an interview in April and you said that my family and I have a plan for my career and it's all about timing as far as I'm concerned. So you clearly felt this was the right move at the right time. Definitely, I think you can see the last few years, um, especially you know while I'd been at Norwich, um, there had been you know opportunities that that had would felt you know weren't right, and then you know when a, a club like Bournemouth comes along and um, you, you get that feeling and you speak to the people around you and, and you get that feeling that it's a it's a great step, um, and and that's what we felt. It's a great step. The timing's perfect, um, and I feel like I can add a lot to. To this team as well and that, that was a big thing you know coming in here I feel like I can add and, and show exactly what I can do and uh, repay the faith that has been shown in me. Daniel Farker the man who gave you your debut at Norwich is known for his bold approach as is Andonia Rola the head coach here I imagine that will help you settle in quite quickly. Yeah um, speaking to, to Andoni um, was was a major factor for me um, I think you can I'd done a lot of research on his teams, you know, previously, um, and it's it's so exciting for the way I play um, and buying into how how he wants to play um, is is going to be, you know, massively refreshing for me and and also you know time to learn for me. For any Bournemouth fans who haven't seen you play, how would you describe yourself as a player? I think um, you know they can expect. Um, first and foremost, you know, 100% every single week. Um, you know, I love to, to fly forward and, and get forward and um, create opportunities for, for strikers and, and, and attackers as well. Um, but I also, you know, take massive pride in, in, in my defending as well and my 1v1 defending. Um, I feel like is a, is a good part of my game. Um, so I feel like, you know, the fans can expect, expect all of those things. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, I like you know both both sides of, of of being a fullback. Now you've been involved in some rare old battles against the Cherries in the past few years. What are your memories of playing against them? S super difficult games, really. Um, I think 
you know, the first time playing against against Bournemouth uh, was in the, the Premier League here. Um, and it was, you know, such a tough game, you know, top players like Callum Wilson and Nathan Ake, you know, it, it's, like I said, massively tough games um, and a real tough team to play against. Um, so there's been some some real real good battles over the years that I've, that I've had and, you know, I'm happier now that I'm, that I'm here on the, the other side of it. And there's a few familiar faces in the changing room as well. Just tell us about that. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I've played with um, James Hill with, with England, played with Lloyd Kelly with England, um, and and yeah, there's you know there's a few familiar faces. Um, Phil Phil Billin as well. There's you know it'll be I'm I'm sure it'll be really good to to settle in here. And um, one of my you know close friends, Todd Campwell, was here a few years ago, and and he only had you know amazing things to say about the club. So about the changing room, the dressing room and, and, and the fans as well. So it was perfect. You said you'd done your research. You will know that the club was taken over in December. You know, obviously, that we've got a new head coach here and you know that we've done some shrewd transfer business during the window. So it really is an exciting time to be here. Massively exciting. I think, obviously, last season and, and before when I'd known about the, the takeover here um, and the new ownership, um, that was a, a great sign in itself, um, speaking to, to Richard Hughes and, and Neil Blaith as well. Um, what they had to say was, was massive for me. And then you look at the squad and you look what, what now they're, you know, we're, we're adding to the squad as well. It's, it's so attractive, like I keep saying. It's something that you just want to be a part of. And that's why I say it's such a, a good step for me and, and feels like the perfect timing, perfect step. You know, I, I feel like everything's ready for me to go and, and show what I can do as well. On the eve of a new season, a message to AFC Bournemouth supporters. I think, I think there's that excitement and optimism that that I can see from from the outside. But you know, coming into it, I can I can see where that that buzz is and the direction the club's going in. Um, I'm so excited coming into it, um, and and I think the the supporters should be as well because speaking to everyone here, speaking to everyone from the outside, their views on the club. And, and being in it now, I can already sense that, you know, the, the way that the club's going and, and that's massive. So definitely to, to be excited.